Let's talk about white blood cells. As a student instructor, I've found these mnemonics to be the fastest way to learn the white blood cells. So these are your white blood cells, also known as leukocytes. So you have your neutrophils, your lymphocytes, your monocytes, your eosinophils, and your basophils. And I have these in a special order, going from on the top, the most numerous, to the bottom, the least numerous in a white blood cell count. So your neutrophils are active fighters against bacteria. Lymphocytes attack foreign cell bodies and make antibodies. Your monocytes are active phagocytes ingesting foreign bodies. Your eosinophils are your defense against parasites and they're also involved with the allergic response. And lastly, your basophils are involved with the allergic response as well. You keep them into in order. The best way I've found is the mnemonic, never let my engine blow, 603830. It uh, is pretty easy to remember. It's, uh, it's very, it rhymes. You can think about that in your head. It's very catchy. So never let my engine blow, 603830. So what does that mean? So never, standing for neutrophils, let, standing for lymphocytes, my, for monocytes, engine for eosinophils, blow for basophils. And what do these numbers mean? So these are the approximate numbers for a white blood cell count. So neutrophils are about 60% in a white blood cell count. Uh, lymphocytes are around 30%. Monocytes are around 8%. Eosinophils around 3%. And basophils, it's zero point something. So that just helps you remember um, keep everything in order. So these are the most numerous on the top and these being the least numerous down below here. So again, never let my engine blow, 603830. Just keep saying that in your head. Um, if you're an auditory learner, it's going to be pretty quick for you. If you're not, it's going to be pretty quick anyways because this is, this is a, pretty catchy, a pretty catchy phrase. So now you can break down the white blood cells into two separate groups. You have your granulocytes and then you have your agranulocytes. So what is a granulocyte? So a granulocyte contains substances such as lysosomes and enzymes for destroying pathogens. So on your left, you have your, these are your granulocytes. So these neutrophils, eosinophils, and basophils are your granulocytes. And your agranulocytes are on your right here. So the lymphocytes and the monocytes. So the way I remember this is, so neutrophils are filled with granulocytes. Eosinophils are filled with granulocytes. And basophils are filled with granulocytes. So just the opposite, your lymphocytes and monocytes, these are your agranulocytes. These are the ones that are lacking the granulocytes. So lymph lymphocytes and monocytes, those are your agranulocytes. So here's an example of a problem that you might come across. So which of the following is the most numerous agranulocyte? So we have to remember our mnemonic. So never let my engine blow. 603830. So once you have that memorized, this will be a much easier problem. So specifically in this question, we're talking about agranulocytes. So we have to remember which ones are granulocytes and which ones are not granulocytes. So remember we said that neutrophils are filled with granulocytes. So this is not, neutrophils are not granulocytes. So it's the lymphocytes and the monocytes that are the agranulocytes, the ones that are lacking the granulocytes. So between those two, which one do you think is the most numerous? We have our mnemonic up here, so we can easily see that the lymphocytes are the most numerous. So that is the correct answer.